All right, boys, we got this pig loaded up. Let's go do some things. Well, guys, that didn't really go as planned. So I had the block loaded up and called the guy on the way there. He said he was going to be there kind of late. So I gave the guy a call to make sure he was still going to be there when I was going to drop it off. And he told me he's too busy to take it now and he I should drop it off on Tuesday. So it was Friday night at the time. So that doesn't really work for me to wait another four days just to get started on the work. So I'd like to get it possibly, I mean, done basically back in the truck this weekend. So... Right now I'm just going around, I'm going to find a set of cam bearings and try to figure out a tool and probably just try to do it myself. Because that's what we do, right? We try to do it ourselves. Probably not the greatest idea, but that's what I feel like doing. Alright guys, so before we move on any further, I got a question for you. I want to know if you guys are interested in doing like a bi-weekly or a monthly live feed session. So basically it'd be like a live stream, just do like a Q&A or just have an open discussion about whatever we want to talk about or I could be working on something. Let me know what you guys think. We can adjust the frequency if you want. If you guys really like it, we could do it once a week, like every Friday night for an hour. We sit down and chit chat. I think it'd be cool to kind of connect with you guys a little bit more and let me know what you think. Like it, don't like it, leave a comment, let me know. Alright guys, not having very much luck with the cam bearing situation. Machine shop doesn't want it till Tuesday. It's Saturday today. Everything is closed. I can't get cam bearings anywhere. Uh, I should have got them from the shop when I was at it yesterday because he has them, but he's kind of closed today or whatever. I think he's working, but he only takes appointments on Saturdays. So what I'm doing now is getting these valve springs out. And I'm going to take all the valves and everything apart on the heads and then I'm going to clean the heads because there is so much junk on these things that I don't even feel comfortable trying to put them back together and assemble it because every time I touch something more junk falls off and falls into the engine. So I'm just going to take it all apart. I'm going to take the valve seals from the other heads and put them into here because the valve seals that I did uh, on those heads are new and they only have like 700 miles on them. So I'm going to replace those. Let's get started on this. So I'm going to be, uh, so I'm going to be real fancy and I'm going to use one of these custom special homemade tools that everybody likes to do. Just kidding. I'm going to be different and I'm actually going to use the tool that's made for it. I'll tighten it up and I usually push the valve up, crack that retainer loose. I'll try to pull them out. I'm not using a magnet, which I probably should be using a magnet. Yeah, I can get you one. Yeah, you want to get me one? Yeah. Give me a small one. Give me a really small one. Ooh, I got this one out. So I got one out. <laughs> I win. I win. <laughs> fingers a little bit. Can I grab that? Yep, thanks bud. I'll pop the valve out. Do a little check, make sure it's straight. Everything seems to be good on most of these. Valve seats look good. I'm just gonna pop the seal off. You looking at the camera? Yes. All right, so I'm just gonna go through and do the rest of these. All right, so getting everything cleaned up, things are going pretty well. I have all the valves out from both heads. Here's one on the bench, kind of dirty. Just for reference, see how dirty and nasty these things are. And then here's one I got in the bucket so far. This is just a bucket of basically mineral spirits and dish soap and like two or three gallons of water. So it's actually working pretty well. Basically just taking it and kind of lifting it up, spin it around. Then I'll flip it over and then I'll kind of do some cleaning on the top side and then it kind of loosens everything up. I'll flip it back over and do the same thing. So I'm going to keep doing that. 
Also do have the block back out of the truck. I'm kind of up in the air now. I did go to the store and I ordered a set of cam bearings to have them shipped in. So they'll be like next day. I was at AutoZone, I think it was. At this point, I do want to get it done by a shop and I want to get the block cleaned. I want to get all that rust and stuff off of there. So I was thinking about doing the, the car wash thing and take it there, but it'd be really difficult by myself to get it in and out and didn't really feel like dealing with it, so I didn't do it. And I'm also going to go with a new set of valve seals. If I remember correctly, I only put the valve seals in the one side and I can't find the other ones. So I'm going to go with a new set of valve seals just because. So if those are... 300,000 mile valve seals. It's not gonna hurt to replace them and they're only like 20 bucks. So, but I do wanna say, you can really open a big can of worms by doing this. You kinda think like, oh, I'm just gonna change a couple things and it'll be good. And it's very easy to start thinking like, you pull it out, like I, I'm doing just a stock crank and stock rods and putting those back in there. Then you get into like, well, maybe I should do the valves. Maybe I should pull the valves out. Maybe I should clean the heads. Maybe I should do the seals. Maybe I need new valves. All this other stuff, it just kind of snowballs into being a thing bigger than you really wanted it to be. I'm still going to do it pretty, pretty cheap though for this whole thing. So it should be a lot cheaper than just buying a used LQ4 because I got the whole thing for like 200 bucks. So starting out really cheap, so that's a good thing. But I'm going to stop rambling. Let's look at some new parts. So we got this box here. This is a box. It's a really nice box. We look on this side. It's a box still there rip this thing open. I did already open this to look at it, but I'm kind of spoiling the surprise. Oh, okay. We have a thing. It's a round thing. It's a nice thing. So that's a thing. We're going to put this in the, in the truck. Pretty cool. So that is from a company called Roadrunner Converters. I found it on eBay. Not really a whole lot of information out there about them, so I kind of wanted to try it. The little information that I did find was good information. So I searched through like the Sloppy Mechanics page and the LS Swap Everything page on Facebook and did some internet searching and kind of just looking around searching for Roadrunner Converters to see what people are saying about it. And it sounds like the people that have been using them have had good luck, so figured I'd take a chance on it. It's kind of something different. It's not the normal Circle D, Yank, all the other kind of popular ones that people are using. A little bit more expensive than the budget one I was looking at from Circle D, but figured I'd take a chance on it. So behind door number two, we have a lot of bow wrap. These are some pistons and some rods. These are packaged very well, but every single one of them is marked. That's the number four. These are Gen 4 rods and pistons. All of them, full set, very well packaged. Look at this thing. This is awesome. So I got those from a person, and thank you person, and that's all I'm gonna say. Also got the crank. This is actually a Gen 3 crank, but though this was connected to the Gen 4 rods and pistons that were in the box. So this should all be balanced from the factory as it came in. So we have all the, the bearings and everything. This thing looks really good, really nice. I'm gonna take this junk and Throw it in there. And then probably do something really stupid and break it again. So we'll see how this machine shop stuff goes. I decided that I'm just gonna start working on some other stuff. I kinda got a lot of stuff to do. I, I'm gonna, you know, gap the piston rings and all that kind of stuff. So I'll spend some time getting everything cleaned up, clean up the pistons, clean up the heads, gap the rings, do that stuff, and show you guys that process over the next few days. I was kinda hoping to really get it done this weekend, but I was being very optimistic and the whole cam, cam bearing situation is really holding me up. So that kind of sucks, but it'll kind of slow me down a little bit and not rush so much to get everything just slapped back together and take a little bit more time, clean it up so I know that it breaks sooner and call it good. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Hey.